We were talking about the importance of nose breathing and especially when nose breathing is even more important is during childhood because if we have a child that has their mouth open for a period of time, they're going to develop, generally they develop craniofacial changes that are not conducive to good health or good fitness. This, this study was to evaluate exercise tolerance, respiratory muscle strength and body posture in mouth breathing versus nasal breathing children. Of the 107 children studied, 45 were mouth breathers and 62 were nasal breathers. And interestingly, in another, another study that I looked at, where researchers went into a town in Brazil and they randomly selected 370 children between the age of 9 and 12, they found that 55% of the children were mouth breathers. So this isn't quite 55%, but at the same time, it's not that far off it. It's probably in around 40%. The researchers found that mouth breathing children had cervical spine postural changes and decreased respiratory muscle strength compared with nasal breathing. And here is the crux of the effect of mouth breathing. Now, this won't happen all children the same way because it is influenced by genetics. However, these are the typical characteristics that I would see with children coming in. And unfortunately, uh, oftentimes when I see it is when they're teenagers or even in their 20s, you know, that we have clients coming in, they're exhibiting all of these features and primarily because they had their mouth open as a child and unfortunately nobody encouraged this child to breathe through the nose. So what are we looking at? You see due to mouth breathing the whole face, the shape of the face has sank downwards. The eyes look tired, there's poor definition of the cheekbones, it's a narrow facial structure and because of a narrow facial structure there's overcrowding of teeth. Looking at the side profile, because the maxilla, which is your top jaw, the maxilla is set back and that pulls the nose then. The nose is of course bent because the maxilla is set back. And as the maxilla is set back, the mandible, which is the lower jaw, is even set further back. So I have some of the craniofacial changes that you will see here because of course I too was a mouth breather for 20 years. And really the, the crux of this is to get children breathing through their nose because it's estimated that 90% of the development of the face has taken place by the child is nine years of age. So the window of opportunity is very, very brief here. And if we leave a child breathing through their mouth for a period of time, this is what we could be facing. Now, in terms of fitness, when the maxilla, when the mandible and the maxilla, when the jaws, so the, when the maxilla and the mandible are set back, the airway size is smaller. And even though we're talking about breathing in terms of efficiency, we also want to make sure that the pipe that's taking air from the airways, from the upper airways to the lungs, is a decent size. You don't meet athletes or elite athletes with faces like that because a face like that conveys poor performance. And there's very, very few athletes. You know, when you look at an athlete's face, you'll generally see something like this. And this person here, he's a soccer player on, an Irish, on the Irish national football team. And I sent his photograph over to my illustrator who came back with this. Now, this is the typical facial structure of an athlete. What are we looking at? We're looking at a wide facial structure. We're looking at good definition of the cheekbones. Because the face is wide, there should be perfect, perfectly enough room for all 32 teeth. From the side profile, you can see the definition of the lower jaws, that the lower jaws are, are forward because the lower 50% of the face is determined by whether the mouth is open or closed. And when we have good forward growth of the face, which is how the face should grow, instead of in length, the, the lower part of the face should be growing forward. You see here that the mandible is well forward, the maxilla is well forward, that the nose is straight. The face is a better looking face, but more importantly, the face is healthier and also good fitness levels here because airway size here will be, will be as it should be. It will be perfect as opposed to, you know, conversely, if the mouth was open, smaller airways, poor sports performance.